Uh, so when you guys have a, a little bit to drink, um, maybe maybe you even get a little drunk. Do you change? Does your personality change? How would I remember? <laughs> <laughs> I have been told few? okay, that I talk even more and get oh, louder. Oh, dear God, help yeah. us. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pleasant and happy. Okay, but, but you're just louder talk louder and, and talk. More. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Jim? Um, I don't think I change a whole lot. Okay. Uh, I think uh, my inhibitions come down a little bit. So sure. you might, you know, see me do things I wouldn't normally do. Right. But I think that's common for most people. So probably just a little bit happier, a little bit, a gotcha. uh, little bit looser, a little bit you know, like that. So. Gotcha. Uh-huh. You're not getting out of this. It has been. I know, but I know you remember years well. Years since I've had too much to drink, um, because now if I have one glass of something, I wake up the next day and feel like I've partied all night. You long. had a few mango margaritas in Mexico. I did, but I don't think they really affected me. No, I didn't see uh, you acting weird. No, uh, probably, t- uh, probably the same. You know, I, I'm a a fun drunk. You're a little bubblier yeah, than normal. Yeah, talk. <laughs> I probably talk nonstop. Yeah. Um, but psychologists at the University of Missouri have found there are four different types of drunk people. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. We'll all class, we'll pick the ones that we are. Yeah, that we'll classify we fit ourselves. Into. Yeah. Uh, 42% of us don't really change much at all. Okay. Yeah. That's a pretty good amount. 20% get a lot of courage and become louder and more art. More outgoing. That would be you, Pete. I guess. Yeah, I don't know about the courage part. I don't. Think, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to go. Oh, watch this! Oh. <laughs> I'm going to jump off this are building and sure? land in the swimming pool. Yeah. Okay. But I do get louder. You and, get louder. Yeah. Men are more likely to become that way than women. Yeah. More courage, that's, louder. That's when I get on stage and start singing karaoke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's, okay. Yeah. Well, that would well, so be maybe courage. A, yeah, I'm the same way. That's, yeah. that's courage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fifteen percent of people become nicer and more compassionate when they've <laughs> oh, been drinking. Oh, I love you! Uh-huh. And just to keep the stereotypes going, women are more likely to fall into this category than men. My and, sister and brother yeah. both went to Hamlin University in St. Yeah. Paul, and my sister's a year older. And like they would never talk to each other and receive. But if they'd be at a party somewhere, my brother would be like, "Kathy," <laughs> like he's that guy. Gotcha. And 23% finally become argumentative and uh, start fights. Oh. So that would not be fun. Believe no. it or not, women are twice as likely oh, to have really? this drunk personality than men. Mm-hmm. But that's really sober, too. Shut up. <laughs> not true. So Very I interesting. Guess we're probably we're all, the same. all in the same category of courage, mm-hmm. louder, happy, more outgoing. Yeah. Like, yeah. would somebody go go? Tell Pete to shut up. Yeah. Although that, again, also happens sober. 